and this is weeks 12, 13, 14, problem number 7. Alright, so now we're getting to the point in this uh, homework set where we're actually starting to construct confidence intervals. Um, uh, we're trying to estimate a population proportion. All right, we're trying to figure out. We we don't know what it is. We're using uh, values from a data set, uh, a sample, all right, to come up with what we think this population proportion is. Okay, so we asked 500 people uh, some question. 350 responded some certain way, the way that we feel favorable. All right, now what this thing right here means. This is the important number. We want a 90% level of confidence, meaning that whatever two numbers we come up with here, we want a 90% confidence level that the true population proportion is in there. Okay, now we don't, again, this level of confidence, all this is is how wide our, our interval is. All right, this, the wider this gets, the confidence level goes up. All right, if our interval goes uh, larger we go up to 95 percent confidence if it goes smaller we go down to 80 something percent okay so we're just coming up with two numbers so we'll be 90 percent confident that the true value of the population proportion falls in there based on this sample value that we have okay now there's a feature on your calculator that'll do a confidence interval for you All right, this is um, calculator went off. This is under the stat menu and we're going to come over here to test. All right. Now, we're looking for uh, a confidence interval, confidence interval of a population proportion. All right, the name of that interval. These are all the tests. We'll do those in the next section. All right, the name of that interval is the one prop z interval one prop z the prop stands for proportion right we're estimating a population proportion okay so that's what that's how i know it's the prop all right and it's a z interval um, because it is the the proportion all right so we highlight that we hit enter it asks all right what's x x is 350 hit enter. What's N? N is 500. Hit enter. What's your confidence level? Our confidence level is 90 percent. Make sure to write it as a decimal. So 0 0.9 and then tell it to calculate. Alright, so there's our interval. Alright, the lower number is uh, it wants three decimal places so 0 0.666. The upper number is point seven three four alright let's do another one here just run through it real quick since we know where it is now alright stat alright this is statistics class now we're going to do a test we want a one prop z interval because this is once again a proportion confidence interval int population proportion prop All right n is 500 x this time is 150 okay 500 and now we want a 90 percent confidence level again so hit enter and we see that it's 0.266 for the lower number and then 0.334 for the upper number All right, so that's how we do a, a uh, one prop z interval or proportion a, a confidence interval about a population proportion uh, with your calculator All right, it could ask it in this form Okay, so we got a clinical trial test, a method designed to increase the probability of conceiving a girl. In the study, 
570 babies were born, 285 of them were girls. So this is just a, it's still a confidence interval. It's just done in a word problem. It's it's given to you in information. All right, we want to use this sample data. This is our sample size. And construct a 99% confidence interval. Uh, estimate of the percentage of girls born. Okay, so this is asking us to estimate. Right, it's wanting a confidence interval. So that's going to be one of our interval features on the calculator. Estimate the percentage. All right, that's a one uh, prop Z interval as well. So we're going to come in here. We're going to do. Put it right here. Stat. Go to your tests menu. Oops. Stat. Go to tests. Now we want to find one prop Z interval again. That's one prop Z test. So we want one prop Z interval. Right. It asks for x and n. Remember, x will always be smaller than n. So of these two numbers, x has to be the 285. Right, that's the number that have some certain characteristic. All right, in this case, what are the girls? All right, the n is 570. All right, and they want a 99% confidence interval, so 0.99 this time. And then we tell it to calculate. All right, so 0 0.446, 0 0.554. All right. Does the method appear to be effective? Um, no, the por proportion of girls is not significantly different from 0.5 because 0.5 is virtually right there in the middle of this thing. All right. We would want this thing to be um, where 0.5 is not even in the confidence interval at all. We'd like this thing to be kind of centered around something like you know 0.75 or something and and the lowest number go down to you know something in the 60s for us to be uh, confident that it, it works properly. All right, this is problem number nine. Um, in the week before the week after a holiday there were 10,000 total deaths and 4,940 of them occurred in the week before the holiday. Construct a 90% confidence interval to estimate the proportion of deaths in the week before the holiday to the total deaths the week before and the week after the holiday. Okay, so this is another one prop Z interval, so we're going to go to stat. Right, again, how do I know it's one prop Z interval? Because it's estimate the proportion right Pro estimating with a confidence interval of proportion so that's one prop z interval all right now it wants to know uh, x and n remember we said x is the smaller number right how many of them uh, occurred the week before so 40 49 40 The total was 10,000. That's our sample size here. So 10,000. And we want a 90% confidence interval. All right, and we tell it to calculate. So there's our one prop Z interval. So 0 0.486. And then 0.502. All right, part B says, based on the result, does there appear to be any indication that people can temporarily <laughs> postpone their death to survive the holiday? <laughs> uh, again, this is like the last problem where since 50% is included in there, um, that's what they're asking here because 50% is inside the proportion. Uh, the interval... Uh, 
Let's see. No, because the proportion could easily equal 0.5. The interval is not less than 0.5 the week before the holiday. All right, we don't have substantial information to prove that it's significantly different than 50%. Okay, a 50-50 shot. All right, so it's basically the same kind of interpretation we had in number 8, that because 50% is contained in here, we can't say that that, um, that method was effective in conceiving a girl. Same thing here. 50% is contained in here. So we can't say that this uh, gives any indication that the 50-50 uh, chance is um, unavoidable here. Okay, These types of questions, we're looking for something that's extremely rare um, or significantly different. And when we're doing these 90% confidence intervals, um, if something's outside the interval, you know, if like 0.5 falls outside of this interval, there's not a very big chance of that happening, only 10%. Okay, but um, if it's in the interval, then it's not uh, it's not an unusual occurrence. So that's that's what they're asking here in these Part Bs to these things.